enrichment video on rationalizing the denominator. Basic problem, example one. Splitting the fraction into two pieces, we get the square root of four over the square root of three. Simplifying, we get two over the square root of three. Now, to rationalize the denominator, you multiply the fraction by the denominator on the top and on the bottom. By doing this, 2 times the square root of 3 goes on the top. The square root of 3 times the square root of 3 is the square root of 9. Two times the square root of three stays on the top, and the square root of nine is three. And don't forget, this is plus or minus. Rationalizing the denominator gets the denominator, makes the denominator um, get rid of the radical. Notice that our answer does not have a radical in the denominator. Challenge problem. This time we have two rational numbers that we need to get rid of. To get rid of it, we multiply by its conjugate. Its conjugate will be the square root of 3 minus the square root of 5 over the square root of 3 minus the square root of 5. Whatever symbol this is, we do the opposite. That is the conjugate. Multiplying. 2 times the square root of 3 minus 2 times the square root of 5. Distributing the 2 on both because this is a group. And then multiplying our denominators together. We have a binomial times a binomial, so we'll use the FOIL method. Square root of 3 times the square root of 3. Square root of 9. Inner square root of 15, outer, negative square root of 15. Well, the square root of 15 minus the square root of 15 is 0. So the inner and the outer cancel. Last term, square root of 5 times negative square root of 5 is negative square root of 25. Okay, simplifying our radicals we get 2 square roots of 3 minus 2 square roots of 5 over the square root of 9 is 3. The square root of 25 is 5. Okay, so now we are going to continue to simplify here. I'm going to go ahead and go over here. 2 radical 3 minus 2 radical 5 over 3 minus 5 is negative 2. Now notice, we can reduce. So I could break this up into two fractions, so you will see this easier. 2 radical 3 over negative 2 okay. minus 2 radical 5 over negative 2. So those cancel leaving us with negative square roots of 3. Those cancel, leaving us with positive square root of 5. And this is in the numerator. If I was to make a denominator, it would be 1. And so we got rid of the square roots in the denominator.